Hey everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we will be doing our paycheck to paycheck. I think I missed two weeks. Not sure. Uh, but anyway, if that sounds like something that you'll be interested in, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so we're going to hop on in. I know I've been kind of MIA, you guys. Um, I got a little busy. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. I didn't forget about you guys. I'm going to try to do this in one take and so that I don't have to do a lot of editing. Um, my storage is almost gone. Well, it's pretty much gone. So I'm trying not to buy a new storage because that'll be an extra expense. So let's see where we are. Um, today is the 25th. So um, 25. Through the 31st, because Sunday is the 30. Oh, I put nine. See, I'm not redoing that. And this is the last week, so I believe this is week five. Um, let's zoom in. Okay, for income, um, if you're new here, I have a couple of sources of income. All of them, I am self employed. So, here. Shopify, and then miscellaneous. Um, again, I've been kind of missing in action. I got a couple of orders. I know it was either last week or week before last. Um, there was three 100 envelope um, orders back to back. I actually got two in the same day. I'm so grateful and I'm thankful um, because it does help me pay off some debt, but I was overwhelmed just slightly. I know it's only, but I looked at like 300, like that's 300 envelopes I gotta do. So anyway, for this week, this is technically my slow week, and I'm gonna put 650 this week. Um, and for Shopify, Shopify did pretty good last week, but you know, this week I really don't anticipate anything. I'm going to just put 50 because you never know. Um, and then I do know for miscellaneous, which is normally um, at C50, we've kind of cleared that already this week so so far we have 650 that's 7 750 for the week and it may change it just may change again if you're new here i'm self-employed and so these are just guesstimates and i kind of lowball them so that um i don't go overboard with my budget so the first thing like my daughter's birthday is tomorrow, the 26th. I'll add that to notes later. But the only thing so far I have this week is on the 28th is my car insurance. And that is 213.33. And we got the 31st. And then we'll go into the first of the month. Um, the first is on a Monday. So for me, I like to kind of think ahead of time of like my first of the month bills. So even though some of them I do next week, which is Monday, I like to kind of prepare the week ahead, if that makes sense. So, but I'm just going to stick on this week because... I'm sitting here thinking, like, should I put those down or should I not? But I'm going to go ahead and put Booth because they'll be coming out next week anyway. So we'll just leave those leave those alone. So Booth rent is 200 Also, you guys, my Booth rent is going up. For those who are new, I'm a self-employed hairstylist. So I rent a space in a salon from someone. And our Booth rent will be going up as of December the 1st. And then it'll be going up again March 1st. <laughs> so on December 1st, it'll be 225. March 1st, it'll be 250. So um, I do have a cash envelope for booth rent. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start back doing my cash stuff, and I've just been really busy. I wanted to do one on Saturday. So now what I'll be doing is funding my booth rent because um, how can I put it? Even though $25 is not a lot to some, and it's really not a lot to me, but I want to just kind of have a little cushion for myself. So I'm going to start donating to that. So, so far, these are the only two things that I have to pay this week that I know of. I do need some products. So I'm going to put down products. That's not a bill, but 
we're going to put it down and I'm going to need about $75 worth of hair products, if not more. So that doesn't have a date. So let's just do some calculating. Kind of can't add this in my head, but let's see. So that's four eighty-eight thirty-three, and I feel like I'm missing something. I hope not. But if I think of it, I'll definitely add it. So then here in notes, I'm going to add Destiny's 21st birthday. My daughter turns 21 tomorrow. I'm old. <laughs> and so I'm going to send her some money. So that'll go over here into like my cash envelopes. I'll be, I'm, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to send her. But yeah, and also I've been taking like money I would normally stuff with. I've been kind of reinvesting into um, my nail career. <sighs> That's somewhere else I've been. I've been juggling all of my jobs. I've been filling orders, doing nails, um, and hair. So yeah, and then I we had a makeup done. We had a photo shoot yesterday at my job and put $10 here while I'm thinking about it. Hold on. And the young lady asked me when I get back into makeup, and I was like, I can't handle it. <laughs> I can't handle it. It's too much on my plate because I just have a lot of things I like to do, a lot of hobbies, a lot of gifts, a lot of talents, and my ADHD brain can't just handle it. So um, so here I want to put $10 in my Capital One savings account. So that's $10. And then in sink and funds, really, I'm going to skip down here to cash envelopes, and I'm going to put the gift envelope. And I think I'm going to do 75. I wanted to do 100, but I just got to really see how uh, my money flows. Like I have nails to do tomorrow. What I'm doing is kind of doing a, some practice hands, kind of free sets, but people are still tipping me. So um, I'm going to put gifts. So if I make something off of that, if I get a tip from my nails, then I'll add to it and it may be more. Um, sinking funds. I'm trying to think. I don't think, oh, I want to give Christmas. I have not donated to my Christmas fund, but I haven't taken away from it either. So I want to put 60 there. That's really all that I want to do right now. I do have some ones in my wallet and I was going to go ahead and add them to my five and one. So I may try to do that, but I don't want to write that down. So let's add oh, what's going on. So we have 483. 10. Let's add these up. Can you all see? Okay. 43 plus. And I'm going to do a transfer to my Capital One for the $10. So that's $628. That is perfect because um, I'm just going to put the $628 down here. That's perfect because this may not be, you know, what we think it should be. So let's pop this into our calendar. And these are all the things I've paid. Let me show you guys. So I've already paid these things. They've already gotten their money. Um, Canva, I can't remember if Canva came out. Shopify was paid. Um, I didn't have to pay a loan because I had been paying extra on my loan and that was good. So I may add to my loan this week. I don't want to write it down because um, in case I don't make what I think I should make. But that is it, you guys. I'm just trying to film this with no edits. And that way I don't have to go back and edit anything so that I can save my storage. But I do miss you guys. I am going to be back on a consistent schedule again. It's just I've had so much going on. And I'm trying to figure out, like, my nail schedule of me doing others' nails. And working around my husband's schedule. So if he's in the office, I can't do nails. I can't do orders. Um, you know, if he has meetings here in the office, so this is where I do nails, this is where I do my filming, this is where I do my printing and cutting and all that. So that slows me up a little bit too. So, uh, yeah, so I'll be back. I'm filming right now. It's night, it's storming here. Um, uh, but I was like, I gotta get a, a video up. So I do apologize again for my absence, but I haven't gone anywhere. I've just been working on orders. Um, the 100 envelopes do keep me busy, and I'm very, very appreciative of it. Now, I will close my, I'll be closing my Etsy soon, um, just for a couple of days, 
just to kind of, like I said, get that um, schedule together of how I'll be, you know, doing nails, how I'll be doing it all, all of my jobs, because I was truly stressed last week. So I don't want to get stressed, not behind making money. So especially when I need it <laughs> to pay my bills. So anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys. I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Um, also, I had some winners when I did my giveaway. They did not respond. So the next giveaway will not be until we're at more likely 25 or 5,000. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later in my next video. If this is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know that you're new and I would love to talk to you in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.